Welcome to my unboxing and first look at the Corsair AX1200i. So this is an improvement over the original AX800. And there's, did I say AX800? Because what I really meant to say was AX1200. And there's a few things that they've done differently. So first let's go over the box itself. Digital ATX power supply, so meaning they're using digitally controlled power for tighter regulation, quiet, efficient operation, and there's more to this than actually meets the eye. It's fully modular, just like the original AX1200. Supports Corsair Link, yes. Quiet, efficient operation. So using Corsair Link, you can actually not only monitor the efficiency of the power supply, you can also control things like fan profiles, which has not yet been seen in, uh, well, yeah, ever. I mean, I think I've seen power supplies that have a dial on the back where you can sort of adjust the fan profile, but this is more robust. Um, they've also added 80 plus platinum certification as opposed to the 80 plus gold certification of the original 1200. Here's some modular cables that we're actually going to have a look at once we open it up, so we're not going to worry too much about that. Okay, digitally controlled power for solid voltage regulation and outstanding performance. Upgraded internal components and digital design for 80 plus platinum configuration. This is a great picture. Uh, fully modular cables for quick and easy installation. Okay, so this is more of the same in terms of what they have to say for themselves. So let's have a look at the back. 80 plus platinum basically means 90 plus because unless you're at, see, even at 100% load, you're just under that 90% mark even on 115 volt input. And if you're using 230 volt, if you're in Europe or Asia or wherever else, you'll actually basically, unless you're at like, you know, 5% system load, you're never gonna fall below 90, you know, 91, 92% efficiency, which is outstanding. The fan doesn't even turn on until you reach 30%, and I'm assuming this is just the stock profile, because if you're using Corsair Link, you will be able to know how well your AX1200i is working at any given moment. It lets you quickly tweak its performance. So server-inspired diagnostic tools monitor real-time efficiency, power usage, configurable overcurrent protection points, and fan profiles. So overcurrent protection has been a bit of a hot topic because there's this constant back and forth debate. Do you want a multi-rail power supply with overcurrent protection applied in a way that would you know, prevent um, potential problems? Do you want a single rail power supply? that can basically have the flexibility to power whatever components you plug into it, no matter where you plug them in. And Corsair is basically giving you the flexibility to go, okay, look, we're giving you a single rail and we're giving you the ability to actually control how the safety features are gonna work to, according to whatever you're comfortable with. You don't see this very often though. It's uh, capable of providing 1,204.8 watts on the 12 volt rail and total power, exactly equal and more than spec. In the past, I've seen power supplies that go for that extra five watts in the actual product name. So there you go. They've uh, apparently not worried too much about that. 140 millimeter cooling fan rounds out the list of features. So now let's have a look at what's in the box. So what Corsair is so good at compared to basically everyone else is products that work well together and look great together. If you go with, uh, we actually did a PC at NCIX, the store where I work. Uh, we did a PC not that long ago that was all Corsair and Asus premium branded parts. And the end result was outstanding because all the parts work really well together and look really good together. And the PC looked a lot more expensive than it actually was just due to the part selection that we used. So that's just, you know, cool thing to be aware of. And this, oh, look at that. There's your Corsair Link connector. So you plug in by USB and then you've got a uh, Corsair Link adapter right there. Cool beans. Power cable, nice thick one. Okay, download the latest Link dashboard software. Please visit there. Cool. Modular cables, take a look at those after. Uh, zip ties as well as a Corsair case badge, some screws, excellent. User's manual, not gonna worry too much about that. Now let's have a look at the power supply itself. So it comes in a nice velvety baggie. And see, again, things Corsair understands. Excellent quality foam. You could pretty much, you know what? It'd be kind of funny to do this, but um, you could pretty much drop that off a couple story building and I'm sure your power supply would survive to, I mean, don't do this, you know, please don't. 
you know, oh, I bought a new Corsair AX 1200i today, Linus, and I'm going to throw it off my, you know, apartment complex because you said it would probably live. You'd be like, no, just no. Uh, so don't do it, but I suspect it would be fine because it's an extremely robust packing material they're using. And that's important because when you order your new system, the last thing you want to do is get everything all unpacked and assembled and turn it on and it doesn't work. And packaging plays a big role in that. So there's our 140 mil fan. They've actually gone with quite a different aesthetic compared to the AX uh, non-I series. So they've got a bit of a glossy shininess to the sticker now, as well as a bit of uh, texture and you know, character to the overall shape of the, of the metal. So they've gone with a bit of a different fan grill. They've still got the circular bars in there so you can't accidentally get anything in there. 140 mil fan. Still got, you know, kind of like a neat kind of looking thing here. Got your typical honeycomb grill on the back with an on-off switch as well as your power in. And then we find the modular interface. So, here we go. Oh, cool. Okay. So let's go, let's, let's do cables first, I suppose. So you got your 24 pin cable. This pretty much stands to reason. Of course, they're again, they're so good at this. All black cables. Beautiful. Actually, give me a sec, guys. Now these are the best quality included cables that I think I've yet encountered. So there's a few things about them that are kind of special. So one we're used to, that is the black, black wires, so that's fantastic. Number two is this is the best sleeving that I've ever seen included on a stock um, on a stock sleeved power supply. Also, the wires themselves are very, very flexible, very bendy, and just have that, you know, that, well, that quality feel about them. It's not going to impact performance in all likelihood, but they look good, they feel good, and like I said, th this is just, like, there's no gaps. Very dense sleeving compared to what you see on lesser, lesser power supply products. So, included cables, you've got two nice long four plus four pin connectors so you can support up to a dual eight pin motherboard without any difficulty whatsoever. You've also got the flexibility of up to eight uh, selectable either six plus twos or four plus fours. So it comes with two four plus floors and six uh, six plus two, so that is PCI Express connectors. So you could do up to like an Uber motherboard with three dual cable graphics cards without any difficulty whatsoever. However, if you only needed, uh, let's say for example, you only needed one eight pin, but there's an auxiliary six pin on your motherboard and you could source another cable, you could actually use it for that. So you can use them for whichever purpose you require. You've got other included cables as well. So you've got uh, four by SATA cables galore, four of those. And then you've got a bunch of Molex connectors as well. So three, uh, three Molex four pins. So you're only going to be able to plug in six of these, but I think that should still be plenty. I mean, that gives you up to 12 drives. Did I say 12? Because what I meant to say was 16. And then plus another, you know, four by... Uh, plus another four Molexes and then another four, so another eight Molex connectors. If you can't power everything in your system at that point, then you're probably doing something wrong. On the back, you also find a couple more things. So one is a self-test, which is kind of cool to have included. And, oh, right, sorry, a couple more things. Uh, Molex to floppies. There's two, just in case you need them. Again, very nice, black sleeve. Or not black sleeve, black wires. And then there's this guy right here. So that's the COM port. So, Lou, uh, whoops, Slick and I, that could be short for anything. Uh, Slick and I uh, deduced that there's probably some kind of a cable that plugs into here, but we couldn't figure out where it was. And then we kind of went, oh, maybe it's in the cable bag. So we dug through it, and uh, that is where you are able to plug in this to here, and then the link to uh, here, and then that to eh, go in there. And that to USB. And then Slick sort of was like, well, if this is going to be mounted inside your case somewhere, it should probably come with like double-sided tape on the back. To which I responded, bam, because there's double-sided tape included in the little accessory baggie. Corsair is good at these kinds of things. So the AX1200i is right side up, no matter which way you mount your power supply. Oh, he can do it again. Oh, it didn't work. The cables are too twisted. Um, 
great looks, great performance. What else is there to really say? Corsair Link compatibility is going to be huge for the tweaker and the gamer who really wants to monitor every last detail of their system. And I think that pretty much wraps us up. So thank you for checking out my unboxing and first look at the Corsair AX 1200i 80 plus platinum power supply. Don't forget to subscribe to Linus Tech Tips for more unboxings, reviews, and other computer videos. throw it off a building, but I'm sort of hoping this will make my point. So even if your courier like really abuses it, bearing in mind that your box will be sealed and we probably should have taped it shut before we did this uh, because that caused the box to to open. So there you go. There's some uh, you know, some com crash damage on the corner there. There's some. This is about as bad as you could expect it to arrive from your courier. And uh, we're going to go ahead and investigate here so you can see that uh, there's enough foam padding here to choke a horse or at least stop uh, a fall from damaging your power supply and because it's a soft foam I, I know I harp on soft foam but because it's a soft foam there's also no damage to the foam which means we could actually throw it out of the car again and it would survive whereas with a hard foam once it's broken the structural integrity is dead and uh, don't get oh it's windy gonna blow away all the paper and then I'll be a litterer. Okay, so we're gonna pull out the power supply and determine that it is indeed unscathed within its protective packaging. Oh, so good. Don't forget to subscribe.